America. You can wear my wife. My, his wife wear a dress every day. 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 Why you can't wear a dress every day? Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. The book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So the Bible says, this is the plague wherewith the Lord. A plague is what? It's an evil. It's an evil thing. It says, this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Who is Jerusalem? The 12 tribes of Israel. That's the so-called right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Lord is bringing a plague upon this earth. Come on. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What can make your body, what can make your flesh disappear from your bones? But guess what? A nuclear missile, that fire. You ever seen Terminator? You seen the one where that lake, where that big fire hit, and that lady was holding the gate, and her body, her flesh just disappeared when the fire rolled past. That's what this is talking about. Bring it it says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That fire, when it hits, it's quick, and it's gonna burn everything up in America. Right. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their hole. It's telling you. It's telling you. It's gonna be fire. Fire is what's gonna make this happen, come on. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Meaning be destroyed in their mouth. You're gonna melt with fervent heat like we just read in 2 Peter 3 and 10, right? Read on. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great time. That's all I want. Uh, now, give me the second address real quick. You understand, sis? Yeah, I understand. That's gonna be nuclear fire that's gonna come for everybody that says I'm not doing what the Bible says. I'm not changing. I'm judgment. gonna do it's not we ain't got that much time left. Get a judgment from the That's Solomon Gomorrah. Oh, give me that. Uh, yeah, Zephaniah. That's all. And then I'm gonna second that. Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah, chapter one and verse eight. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Hey, listen, bro. The Bible says it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. When it says it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. God says everything that I wrote in this Bible is going to happen. Right. We went into slavery, it's documented in the Bible. It happened. We went into slavery. Gee, come on. That I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. The Bible says everybody that's clothed with strange apparel is going to be destroyed. When you sacrifice an animal, what do you do to it? Huh? You kill it. Did, did y'all know the Lord is coming back to kill? Read it again. Listen, sis. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children. It says in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, in the day that the Lord coming to kill, I will punish the princes and the king's children. Meaning he's going to kill people. He's not talking about animals. Right. Come on. That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. The strange apparel is women wearing clothes that's immodest. You're revealing your body. Women wearing pants and shorts. Shorts is just short pants. That's what that is. The sister got a question? Yeah, she's from the tribe of, uh, she's a Dominican. She wants to know what tribe she's from. Oh, okay, so it's right here on, the, on, the, uh, on this chart right here. So. When you look on this side, these are the names that God called us. You see where it say Dominican at? Right here. Simeon, which is Dominicans. This is the name they gave you in slavery when they conquered your people, when they came over to the Dominican Republic and conquered your people. But God calls you Simeon. He don't call you a Dominican. You know what Dominican means? All your life you've been a Dominican. You don't know what it means? Come on, sis. Your kids, you teaching them that they Dominican? You gotta know what it means. <laughs> See that, sis? You, you, that's, that's, this, these are the things that were taught to us in slavery. You know your people was conquered and went into slavery, right? You know about your history? Yeah. Your people being conquered, going into slavery? The French conquered over there, right? 
So watch this. I'm going to deal with that. Now I'm going to show you something real quick. Don't go nowhere, sis. This is important. This is your history of the Bible and your salvation, even for your children. You believe in the Bible, right? Okay. So, you know what modest apparel is, sis? Huh? You know what modest apparel is? You don't? To be, help out, sis. Help, help your sister out. Modest apparel is like wearing pants and stuff like that. Not pants, sis. Sorry, men clothing, men, men clothing, and women are not supposed to be wearing men clothing and vice versa. Oh, okay. So every day women are supposed to basically Give me that real quick. Somebody else might come and deal with him. I got you though, bro. I got, we gonna deal with your question. Just give me a second. I got the help. Hold on, so let me read the scripture to you. This is something for everybody. You know what, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna video. He gonna put the video on us. Now read this real quick. The book of 1 Timothy chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Wait a minute, sis, where you going? Are oh, you leaving? Okay, so that, now let's deal with this. Let's deal with this brother question. Second answer. You ready for your answer, right? Well, you said, I, was it? I, I just want to know something like this. Was I? Wait, wait, wait. The first question you said was our people on this side of the earth. I want to show that to you real quick. Yeah. Let me show it to you. Yeah. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 40. Bring it Those up. are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of O.C. The king whom Solomon Ansar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves. So our people was taken into captivity under the Assyrians, what, who we know as the so-called Hispanics. So now they got so at that time they gave us liberty to leave. The the so-called Hispanics took liberty, they took counsel among themselves to see what they was gonna do. Watch this. But they took counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. They say we're gonna go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Meaning where nobody ever lived before. Y'all understand? They say, we're going to go into a further country where nobody ever lived before. Somebody Google ask me. One more Come question. That they might there keep their statues which they never kept in their own land. Come on. And they entered into Euphrates. So by it's telling you how they got to this land where nobody else was at. It said they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood. So the Most High God, which is our God, he showed them signs in the heavens on to, to direct them. You understand? On how to get yes. because we didn't have no navigational system back then. Exactly. That's so, why wait a minute, I got bro. Wait, wait, I got you. I got you. I got, I'm asking your first question. Be patient. I got oh, I was No, I'm trying to no, you don't. Just let me finish the whole point. It says they took this castle among yes. themselves, and the most high gave them signs to show them how to get to the land where never mankind dwelt. We don't. Till they were passed over, Come on. for through that country there was a great way to go, uh -huh. namely of a year and a half. So it took them a year and a half to get on this side of the earth. I know you coming impatient, but you got five, six questions that he's trying to answer, and Brilliant. every time he go to and the same the question, reason is called oh, Arthur. No so the Bible says the same. So the ten tribes came to a land that was called Arthur. We got that. Uh, somebody Google that word for me. Arthur, watch this. Arsuri, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of men, in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. So we just read that in the Bible. So now we get the definition of Arsuri. It says where the ten tribes will, will live. Read on. Observing the laws of Moses until the time of the restoration, according to 2 Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40 through 45. So all the heathens know our history. It's just we don't know it. So now they documented this. Because they hid our history. I read that scripture earlier. The heathens say, as long as we keep them in sin, we're going to rule over them because God is not going to be for them if they break the commandments. If we break God's commandments, he's going to punish his church. He's not going to let us, the Lord is not going to allow this man to let us go until we come back and, and keep his commandments. Watch this, read on. Columbus identified America with this land. You know what the Bible says? It says Columbus identified the Osiris because that was the name of this land before he came. He identified America with this land, which is called which was called Arsenal at first. I thought it was a black guy that or somebody that discovered America. That's our people. We're reading about them, the ten tribes of Israel, the oh. so-called Hispanics. Oh, they, they always been dark-skinned people, but when you read in the scriptures. Right, 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 right,
It, right, so it's telling you, so we, we was reading that the 10 tribes came over here to live in this land. Columbus came over here and called it, and somebody he discovered it, but he did not. You understand? Yeah, but they, they always take away from the, you know, the people, people. Exactly. But even in their history books, they're giving you the true understanding. They said, listen, the 10 tribes is over here. But when Christopher Columbus came over here, he overtook, he took the land over. Watch this, read. Yeah. Arcerus, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, in which the 10 tribes of Israel will dwell. In which the 10 tribes of Israel will live, may they dwell, come on. Observing the laws of Moses. Because when our people first came over here, they was keeping the commandments, the so-called Hispanics, come on. Until the time of the restoration, according to 2nd Ezra chapter 13, verses 40 through 45. You see what the white man wrote in his books? He said, that's in the Bible. 2nd Ezra is what we just read. We just read that out the Bible. 2nd Ezra chapter 13, verse 40 through 45. The white man already knows. Right. When you watch that movie, uh, what it's called, 14, I mean, uh, what, Christopher, Col the Christopher Columbus movie, 1492. He says, I know that somebody is over there in that land is written in second measures. They got it in that movie. But our people don't pay attention to the little things that they put out there. Read. Columbus identified America with this land. See that? Christopher Columbus identified America with the land also repeated, but the name was changed. Read on. The name, it has been suggested by Schiller Sinsney. Oh, that's all I wanted. <laughs> now give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. So now, y'all understand what, what we just read, right? So Christopher Columbus never discovered America. Everybody knows that, but people scared to bring it out. But we're gonna bring it out because it's in the Bible. Right. Now, we read y'all some commandments about how y'all supposed to dress. It's up to y'all to keep it. We read y'all the prophecy about the destruction that's coming to America. You can wear my wife, my, his wife wear a dress every day, 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 his wife wear a dress every day. Why you can't wear a dress every day? My wife wear a dress every day. Every day. But they wear under when it's cold. Leggings. Under leggings is made it's for the, our women always wore leggings in the wintertime to keep themselves warm. Right, right, that's leggings is not to be that, that's underwear. You that's why you can see the, a woman, you can see everything. Because it's underwear. It's to keep you warm under your dress. That's why you say you can't wear a dress. Guess what? Guess what women wear in the wintertime? Leggings. I Without think, a dress. No, no, no. I ain't saying you. Yeah, because I be seeing that. That that be, of course, them trying to be cute and trying to show off their body because it be like, it's zero degrees you ain't got no clothes on. Exactly. But I'm just saying, because it was a sister. It was a sister I think I had on leggings. And say you can't wear a dress every day. But women wear leggings in the wintertime. Don't you think you'll be more warm if you put a dress on too? No. You won't? Like some pants. No, not no pants, sis. That, that ain't gonna keep you warm. Trust me, our women do it every day. Every day. My wife don't wear pants no more. She wear her long dress with her leggings on. You understand? It's not hard to do. It can, you can stay warm. Watch this, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Well, give me, before we read that real quick, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12, making sure I'm keeping y'all in the spirit of what the Lord wants us to do. The destruction is coming, the Bible says warn our people. That's all we can do is warn you. When you get caught in that day because you say, I don't want to do it, it's on you. We wash the blood off our hands. Now, if we knew this information and we didn't come out here and teach y'all, then we're going to pay for it. That's hatred. How you doing, sis? You got a couple, you believe in the Bible, right? So, you believe that we should do what the Bible says, correct? I'm going to show you, a, you go to church, right? Can I show you one scripture real quick in the New Testament? Give me, give me that real quick. I'm, I stay on this scripture all day. Because a lot of our women don't understand the true understanding of God and what God wants us to do. Watch this. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. And I'm going to ask you what this means. What's your name, by the way? Sharon? Okay, my name is Zephaniah. Watch, watch this. The book of First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. And like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So, Sharon, right? What is modest apparel? No, no, I'm asking you. Because, I mean, the reason why we, we got to ask these questions, because a lot of our people grew up in the church, 
They pastor's supposed to be teaching the Bible. So now we're reading the scripture that your pastor should teach you because this is based on your salvation. If you're not doing this, you're not going to make it to the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that a woman should adorn herself in modest apparel. It's talking about what? Clothing, right? What is modest apparel? Huh? No. The latest fashion is what? Tight dresses, short dresses. So but, they, it wouldn't be the latest fashion. So, sis, help out. What, what is modest apparel? Because they know what it is. Just real quick, it's talking about what? The Bible, the Bible says that a woman should not wear pants. You understand? They, they, is they teaching you this in church? So why are you wearing pants? And, and I'm not, I'm not trying to destroy you. Cause you what? Cause you want to? Do you love the Lord? So are you gonna obey what the Lord says, or are you gonna do your own thing? You gonna do your own thing? All right, sis. See, that's what I mean. So we gonna let the next teacher come up and have to find the people. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. Stop!